more prouder of the Pro Woo! Football Hall of Fame for doing the right thing. And when he is announced, I believe it's a it's a couple days, a week before the Super Bowl, a couple days before the Super Bowl. A couple days. When it is announced. The Saturday before, I believe. The Saturday before. When it is announced that he is indeed a finalist in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, you better goddamn believe that 4th and John is going to be planning a road trip. Road trip! Yeah. Yeah. To see that man get his gold jacket. And then, un and then unveil that bronze bust to him that'll stay in the Hall of Fame forever, forever. Justin, Keep real quick, while I while I calm down from this little <laughs> rant I'm on, who are the other finalists for the Pro Football Hall of Fame that were announced? It yeah, doesn't yeah. matter. Uh, it does matter. I want to know because it was a log jam at safety. There was a lot of safeties in there. There was there was a little bit of a question. I was a little concerned whether or not he was actually going to get in. God damn. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, 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 I couldn't be happier. His I style can, cannot I be duplicated or recycled. I still do. Yeah. Who, who do you guys think is, is a player of all time? Somebody who can compare to Brian Dawkins. If you could compare. Who would you no, compare? No. no. Mm. Yeah. But if you could come Reggie? close. But, but Reggie Reggie was, wasn't exactly a, a vocal leader. He, 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 led, he, he led on the field. You know what I mean? He was a community leader. I mean, what what the, the I got room. it. He led in the locker room, but he wasn't. You're not going to get a dog going out of right. out of Reggie. Um, Reggie was a beast, though. I mean, I, I I guess you're right. If you if you were to if you were to kind of put in the terms, it would be. But Reggie was a, was one of the best defensive ends to ever the play minister. the game. Yeah, minister of defense. Yeah. Dawkins was so yeah. versatile that it, he was just on a, on another <sighs> level. Justin, you got that the rest of that list for me. Justin, buddy, you might go on. It's going to be a lot of man tier shit. Oh, oh sure. Sure. This yeah. is the last episode, too, man. This is, hey, uh, you, we're ending in a pain. If Brian Dawkins oh, makes it, we all make it. Exactly. And he loves Philly. He, he loves Philly. And he just tweeted out just now, he said, blessed by the best. He just tweeted that after he just got announced to be in the 15 finalists. Who, who else? What are the other 14 finalists? Yeah, no problem. Right there. Who do you think's got it out of those guys? Let's just say. Well, obviously, if they only announced six already, he, Brian Dawkins is obviously one of the top if the other, um, other ones aren't announced. He's getting in. He yeah, got listed I first. Whoa. I, I, think, I, think, I think Tomlinson has to get in. Guaranteed. Um, first ballot. I love Melty. Jason Taylor. Gee, I was even surprised was to see surprised. Jason Taylor on that list, to be honest with you. Really? He was dominating. He was dominating, he, he, he he was dominating but he never, you know what I mean? When, when you start talking about like Please. playoff appearances and rings and stuff right, like right, that, right. I mean, he's one of those Kurt guys. Kurt, I, I yeah, truly I think Kurt mm -hmm. Warren should be in the Hall of Fame. Should be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, when you go to Warren three Anderson? Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, did, did, did a long time. Yeah, I, get, I mean, it's a kicker. B-Dog's huh? getting it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. I can't you imagine that, that speech is coming, Brian? Oh I am God. so excited. Man, like, can you see been coming that? Out. First X Men in the fucking Hall of Fame. I, I, I'm, I'm just envisioning it now. I'm just envisioning it now because nobody can hold a, a microphone. Nobody can hold a speech. Nobody, nobody can do that quite like Brian Dawkins. I mean, we might be there. I might, I might be like holy ghosted. In, in, in the I might be good Lord, Brian Dawkins made it. Brian Dawkins made it. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord is good, Brian Dawkins. I'm gonna be holy ghosted the whole goddamn time. Walks. Man, tears will be coming out of me. You can guarantee that. Why Especially just, from that speech. Remember when really you said the, the last episode, why can't we just stick Brian on the field for every game and hook up an IV and give him yeah. the, the, the Dawkins IV. juice? Yeah, like, really? Come on, Brian. That would be nice. But as we, as we celebrate Brian Dawkins being named one of the 15 finalists, before, before that announcement, before we take a look forward as to what's ahead for the Philadelphia Eagles, I wanted to take a, a, a quick look back, because as I'm making that in memoriam video, right, that I put on Twitter, kind of, you know how they do the celebrity deaths, you know, you're at the Grammys, they go through all the people that, you know, weren't, aren't here with us. I decided to make a Philadelphia Eagles one. 
And time flies, boys and girls. I mean, it wasn't too long ago before, uh, since we were sitting there in September going, wow, there's a whole 17 weeks of football. Going fast, man. We got a whole 17 weeks of football, and then here we are in January going, holy shit, that was 17 weeks of football? You're right, it does go fast. That last, that last, that last week sucked, though. We got the win? Yeah. Like we were, you know, beating up JV team. No oh, yeah, no, no, listen, as I keep saying, Seven and nine. Uh, you, you 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 might as well say six and nine because that 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 last game didn't count. That last game, it was nice to quote unquote beat the Cowboys, but it was like the team formerly known as the Cowboys right. because it was, you know, Dak coming in doing his thing, Tony Romo, which was disgusting by the way, literally carving after not passing the ball all year, right. carving up the defense, scoring a touchdown. It was the Super Bowl. Yeah, and and saying deuces and walking off the right. field. I mean that's embarrassing. I'm sorry. So embarrassing. You saw you saw all the Cowboys fans, and the stadium was not light. There wasn't any empty seats, but those seats that would have been empty were infested with cockroaches. Yeah. There was a lot of them there. So after Tony Romo throws that touchdown pass, they're all getting up and cheering. Ah, Tony! Tony! Ah, ah. I mean it was disgusting. It was a disgusting yeah, act a lot of watch. Fans there. It was a lot of fucking Cowboys. And we booed them. Especially at the tailgate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they were in, they oh, were in full. They were uh, in full throat. So I listed the top ten moments of 2016, the 2016 season. Again, looking back, you know, we kind of, as it goes fast, we forget that. Hey, in the beginning of 2016, Riley Cooper was on this team. De D'Amico Ryan's was on this team. Byron, Byron Maxwell, Demarco Murray. We kind of all forget. So I listed the top ten. Not not all of them are good. Not all of them we're gonna look back and say, yay. All right. But starting at number ten, the first one, Doug Peterson named head coach. Now when Doug Peterson was named, th these are influential moments. These are these are big moments in the Philadelphia Eagles season. Doug Peterson was named head coach after losing out on Adam Gase going to Miami. After a Fugazi phone call to um, Jackson, right, in Cleveland, mm -hmm. Hugh Jackson, Hugh Jackson in yeah. Cleveland, after Tom Express, Coughlin. after Tom Coughlin came in and blew the interview, and after there was some interest interest in McAdoo, but the Giants put squashed that real quick. All right, Doug Peterson was named head coach. Now at the time, we all kind of looked around and scratched our heads, and it made sense at this aspect. Doug Peterson was like a warm, fuzzy blanket. The Eagles front office was so shell-shocked by what happened with Chip Kelly, bringing him in, his new style, going to revolutionize the league, going to change things up. The next Bill Belichick, they were so flim flammed by that, they decided to go with what's familiar. Wouldn't you agree, Gail? I think they went for the emotional intelligence. Oh, God. <laughs> please please let in your heart, love up on uh, the players. I think, uh, you know, bringing him in, he, I felt like he, that's the only guy that they, they can mold and do what they want. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, you know, if, out of all the coaches that came in, that's the guy that they could have have at it with. You know, he's not going to want as much. A lot of those other guys that wanted to come here wanted, you know, to take over. Right. Now, and, and, and Evan, keep this rolling through, through this entire segment. But do you think it was a panic hire? Uh, I don't think panic. I don't know. I don't, could, Everybody else was getting he was getting hired. Could be a panic hire. But really, what was left after? He was the plan B. To put it that way. He was the plan B. I feel like it was, he was the plan B. I feel like he was a plan C. Maybe even D. Well, I don't think there. I don't think there was. I don't think people were lining up to take that job. I thought he was. Now, it's interesting, because Ellie Shore Parks tweeted something, and I tweeted at him. I said, listen, it, it, is the Doug Peterson hire and the fact that they were only able to get Doug Peterson, is that more indicative of, you know, just that's the way the cards fell? Or do you think that's more indicative of in speaking to this is how the rest of the league, more specifically how head coaches or potential head coaches view working for the Philadelphia Eagles? I think you, the guys that were coming in knew they were going to be tied to the hip. You know, and if they want their career to flourish, it'll be on the back of Howie Roseman. I think Lurie probably said That's that a up. scary thought. You know what I mean? Like, so coaches come in here like, all right, well, Gase is probably like, if I have more control in Miami, who's going to take it? Yeah. You know, control your own destiny. 
Terrell Davis and Terrell Owens have also been named as Hall of Fame finalists, as Ziz has a freaking <laughs> seizure over there. Say what you got to say, girl. Okay? I am so excited. I love T.O. <laughs> and I love me some Brian Dawkins. This is like the best birthday present ever. And speaking of Brian Bring Dawkins. Bring T.O. back, too. We got this special good. audio that Brian, that the Eagles official tour page just did yes, when he got announced. Justin, do you have that audio clip with Here us right go, now? Here we go, Brian. God damn right. <laughs> oh, dude, I have so much. I want the joke. Oh, oh my God. God. That means the Holy Spirit hits you. Oh, the Holy Spirit man. Man. It's not Holy Ghost in here. You are. You can feel like the energy in here. Oh. Like, you don't got to say anything. You know what he represents. You know that kind oh. of passion he brings. I love free. And what he means to the city. So for him to make it in, hey. Oh, we man. all make it in. Now, 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 on a side note, here, here's a here's a little bit of a tricky thing. If Terrell Owens.